Hello, Reconnect7 here, back with some more combat mission Battle for Normandy. We are with the 9th Cameroonians clearing out the road to show. So it has been a couple of days since I uh, recorded the last video, um, which has been actually quite useful just to uh, take a bit of time to stop and think and consider what's going on with the, the map. Um, so I've just loaded up the game. I have just watched the last minute replay. So those of you uh, who have just watched the last video, Within that in the last minute, we noticed there was an explosion up uh, back up this road. And I have just found out, uh, and if we watch the replay, but in fact, our own off-map artillery um, seemed to be miles off course with whatever that round was, and actually came in and has added two to our casualties. It's bit disappointing. Um, so I recover that. And of course, it's two guys with better weapons. Get those, those guys to pick up. But really, that's two casualties we didn't need to take, and... We can really ill afford at this stage. Um, in other news, just to move on, the kind of main uh, uh, thrust, as it were, of our advance previously had been to try and locate and clear out the Stug has been threatening here. And, that, and to that effect, we brought up a couple of um, anti-tank detachments. And the original plan had been to pop these guys up into this building to take a couple of hot shots at the Stug um, and hopefully take it out. Um, there is two, and I'm, I'm going to modify that plan a little, and there's two, and kind of two key factors in it. The first is that our contact with the Stug, which actually now gone away entirely, uh, was around this area of the last known contact. But that was a few turns ago, so I don't know exactly where it is. The second um, piece that's got me changing my mind, so if I, if I come in here, the plan was to get these guys to pop up into this uh, second story, which gave them a good view down the road. If you come up to this window, and we walk through it, um, great view down the road and you are shielded from the heavy machine gun team that's in this house that we do know about of course there may be other people but generally that's that's not a bad spot to pop up take a shot and hopefully get away however there's a second window up here and if you pop up into this window you can see very clearly great line of sight onto this heavy machine gun nest um, and I don't know if there is a way I certainly don't know one of telling a team use a specific or to, to use a specific side of a building um so i'm slightly reluctant to pop those guys up in there as was the base plan because if they decide for whatever reason to stand at this window chances are they're going to eat a whole bunch of hmg fire um so i'm gonna to have to revise the plan slightly. so i think what we'll do is we'll get them to pop through this house and maybe come up against this hedge might give them a better um a better view um down these lanes um and protected from from the HMG. Now I I haven't had eyes back here, so maybe other Germans we have to worry about. So we've also got these um, guys coming through as a scouting force. I will move both my uh, both my uh, anti tank teams through to this side. One thing that's worth to check actually, yeah, as I say, is what view what windows we have here. Aha! Now this, hmm, not the greatest view actually. It's a bit, a bit uh, blocked by the really high hedges. Okay, I thought maybe, maybe that was going to be worthwhile, but I guess not. So we'll just get our guys to come through. Take nose just through the hedge. The question is, do I want to try and do these guys up as scouts? Potentially. Um, although I'm slightly worried that the even if I do a hold fire command for them, they might draw some fire in. Best thing might be just to pop up. Although, yeah, and if he comes here, actually, and he actually he should be protected from that HMG fire. That might be worthwhile getting him to stick his nose in first. Just see if he can't see or hear anything. Right, we will do that. We have a command in. Um, but I'm also going to get a essentially old fire command on them. And the hope being that they can just stick their noses out without uh, drawing attention to them. To um, anti-tank teams to hopefully take out this stug. Now also last time um, I was slightly confused as to why this chap was using his Webley and not his uh, brain gun and obviously completely overlooked the fact that the brain gun uses nine millimeters and he's out of nine millimeters so i am going to have to pull this team back um in order to reload 
but that's that's not a problem. Right, fairly confident we can bring this truck um slightly close to the front, which does have a bit of nine. Get him. To okay. Check. There's no line of sight into anything I don't want. That's fine. We'll get these guys to move the way back. Get them to kind of collect some ammo. Meanwhile, um, I have these guys slightly thin, who are essentially medic medicking bodies to try and pick up some guns. So you've done one. No luck. Either he didn't have a brain or he didn't pick up. Get you guys to move there. And I'm bringing up a second team just to support. So the only kind of forces we've seen over here was that one sniper who's now ran away. Um, so there is a gap. We could try and push and swing around, but not much cover and immediately through this fence. Um, so not not that comfortable about doing that. Um, I mean, the other thing we could do at some point is to try and get better sight on this area for calling in mortar barrage. Um, I mean, our FO is all the way up here, which is particularly useful. We could get one of these headquarter units to uh, to try and call in a strike, but uh, I am conscious that it's what a seven minute delay from uh, from a headquarter unit, so I'm not sure how exactly how useful that's going. to be. Guys, are you stuck on a hedge? You look unfrustratingly stuck. I just get you to move to say here. Do you think you can unstick yourselves? Uh, a little frustrating bug. Uh, yes, and the two fellows we unfortunately blew up with our own... Our own... Off map artillery, yeah, please come and start picking up his weapon. I'm a bit annoyed with that. Because we we had been aiming over here. And that's that's pretty far off. Meanwhile, uh you can clear your target because we did see that chap run off down there. Um we do have our Oh, you're out of nine mil as well. Assuming you don't just have a Wembley Webley. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll really beat up unit here. Now that we've cleared out this trap, chap, we can move him and do the medicking and hopefully line up with a friend, although he won't be much use for this mission. He's rattled. Might be useful. Next one, yeah, these guys are not in a great state. Um, I can't move my FO out this kind of this direction because you will just get taken out by that HMG. Did with a, a few sacrificial pawns, for want of a better word. I'm also going to get this Bren car to move up just because he's got some more ammo, although, yeah. Although nothing. Useful to get a bit. Okay. Doing that. Guy's going to go medic. Just hold the ground and we've got our anti-tank team. See what these guys see when they get through. Few more teams coming in. I mean, obviously, apparently, I could pop a couple of teams in here and try and take the fights that HMG nest, but not that comfortable doing that, especially before uh, I've taken out this tug. Again, kind of at least bring some forces into this area. Again, might be useful if I can get some eyes to do a mortar strike. So, what maybe what I can do is, I don't think the sight lines are going to be good, but I can always double check with them in there. In fact, I could probably double check off. Of the targeting command. So if you go here, select your endpoint, target, yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna be blocked up when doing that. Okay. Bring you in into support lane. So I do need to formulate some kind of plan to deal with this this HMG. Then we were Almost 10 minutes in, and I haven't taken the first turn yet. So with that, we'll come back to a better overview position. We will take a turn. Oh, see, we've got another sound spot. Okay, so st the stug has moved. Which is it's fair enough. You wouldn't expect it just... Now the question is, how can I get the best line onto that, assuming it's still there and hasn't moved around further? 
see if we get any hard spots once he gets uh, in position. The, the biggest fear, I suppose, is that he gets up in a scouting role and is still spotted. These guys look still pretty stuck. Just going to have three guys running around aimlessly for the rest of the map, if that's the case. Nothing has firmed up over here. So in terms of known forces left, we've got one Stug, we've got an HMG here, we've got, I think, at least one infantryman we saw backing off from this position. And one sniper. That's all we kind of know about. Okay. By its turn. It's always good to start with that. When you get up here, please get in fire. You guys are now medicking. Good. Are you medicking? Yes. Um, you're medicking. Clear those. You're some in position. You're walking. You did get up. Okay, there's no line of sight. The question is, do I want to do two teams at once? Actually, I don't know if I can do two teams at once. If that's where the stug is, pretty, pretty narrow line. So it might just have to be one team. We're hoping for the best. You, okay. You're nervous, but you are rattled. I'd say nervous is better. Doesn't doesn't <laughs> fill me with confidence. Both regular. All right. Move up to here. Should hopefully give you a good line of sight, and we'll put a target armor arc. Essentially, like. Should cover it. That is not a pretty arc. Maybe I'll try that again. Further away. There you go. So hopefully they will quietly pop up. Get a pot shot. And if for sense, we'll get the heads down. <laughs> I mean, if I move, I move up into action square beside it. They might, they might get, you know what, and they might, and it's worth it. I'd rather take two quick shots. Um, don't think he's going to open himself up really t to much fire from anywhere. Thank you. See a tank, kill a tank. Okay, that's good. You're still holding. You're coming up with support. Again, we've got these guys, we will need to decide how we want to try and clear out this chap. Um, post stug. So some 9 mil. Hopefully you will end up with a brain. Uh, these guys. Did they get unstuck? No. no. Let's have a move command. Stay here. Might unstick yourselves, we can hope. Staying resting, start tending to those guys. Fine. Okay. We're all going to decide how we want to, uh, how we really want to push in. I mean, essentially, it's going to have to be around the side once the stug's gone, because I ain't going face first against uh, against an MG. But however, Lauren. We might actually be able to get in this house and out this side without without incurring the MG. Provided there's no one else nearby. The other option is to try and send guys in here and along this way. My only concern being where that sniper ended up. So he did um, take out what, five of our guys earlier, so he's definitely a decent shot. So if he's just holding himself up along this ridge, and we start wandering over here, he's just going to take out more of our more of our team. But we'll at least be able to get some suppressing fire if he does pop his head up, but that's not much comfort to the first guy to get shot. That might be the way to go. I'm going to have a couple of automatic weapons, bends and things. So I think I think that's probably going to be our best avenue of attack if we do to get the stugs to come, come at the village around this back way. Really just yeah, get blocked from that. MG nest, clear everything else out. 
I've talked myself into it, if nothing else. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to want a team pin on this hedge. In fact, do you know what? She'll have good angles on anyone that pops a head up along that edge and then once you're there we can consider putting a, a scouting team through and just coming up to this corner at least and seeing what happens that option i suppose is to get someone to let off a few rounds although ammunition is pretty uh pretty light you'd get them just to uh pop off a few and see if they get any fire back might be worthwhile i'll do that again just to fire a few shots for the next minute see if it draws fire from anywhere Wait. Those guys are all still they're not in a great shape, so I'll kinda of back with them for now. This is gonna be the main event. In fact, I know I can normally zoom out far, but let's let's start in in at the action. And then we'll see if anything else is worth watching. It's the uh, light firing going on. Oh, we've got contact. That's not what we wanted. There's a stug. Question is, do we get a shot off? Go on, son. Oh, it's gone away again. These uh, infantry seem to be managing to keep these guys suppressed. Oh, he's popped out. I'm really worried about losing uh losing these guys. They're far too valuable as my only anti-tank really. Okay, so we're gonna have to unpick this. Pick out these chaps first. And then deal with a stug behind. Or maybe try both at once. Probably means trying to get some kind of brand section. But I promise once I make too much noise here, he's just gonna pop. Might be better if I can bring the Bren to see this action square, where he's a bit more concealed from the from the stug. Exactly when we could. When we first got eyes. Definitely got eyes. Come on. So we got. Yeah, heavy machine gun, rifleman, fine, round for that's a good little hidey hole he's got. But yeah, he really can't see the team there, these guys can. So that might be our best bet to try and get a bit of suppressive fire on, is to use this square here. It's Suppress these guys. In the meantime, if I could get some people around the sides, pretty uh, gently open if you can get some sneaky sneaks in. How successful that would be. Right, so let's divert these guys. Oh, yeah. I'm about to check back for other. Sometimes get too excited. If you came up here, okay. Oh, well, no, don't want to hunt. I want you. And you can definitely see. I'm tempted to try and take a turn to pull these guys off. Right, I will. Get them to step back because I really don't want them to. Casualty. Step back. Just 
Let's see. Go for that. I know you've only got nine rounds, so fire them off. Might just be enough. I will keep him here. Keep him there. Might be the one chance he gets. No, I think... I'll take a hide command on him. Won't get him to move. I will tell him to hide. Guys. I've won give them a chance to set up and launch. Give him a chance to put some press of fire. I and mean, hopefully that's enough for these guys to pop up their heads and take out. Stug. Get you to come over and provide that additional cover we were looking for. Good ish. And again, I'm worried if I if I put a team there to suppress that, they're just gonna get millered by a stug. In terms of who we want to go through first as a scout team, probably would be these chaps if they get themselves unstuck, which they haven't. Not in the view. else is pretty far away. Actually, do you know what might be useful? It's just this one soul alive guy. Yeah. Might be a great pawn to throw forward, because then it's only one, one body. Might cost us a minute or two to get him over there, but I think that is worth it. Um, Yeah, you're not doing your medic thing, but that's fine. We'll get someone else to pick up those goodies. Um, someone very much like you could do some extra ammo and weapons. So we'll pick. Okay, nothing doing here. So we'll just uh, do that. Fine. We, uh, yeah. Okay. So I was thinking, actually, you could almost bring the brain car up. And use them in an offensive role at some point, but they're just really poorly protected. I mean, they've got... Uh, they've got some... Some MG cover. Need to put someone in it. That might be useful as a, a tool of something, if need be, so just in case we need it as a some kind of fallback, we'll bring you up this way. Um, even just opening up another angle if we do have to take that on front, via the front, which I, again, not looking to do, but must. Okay, let's hit the next minute. Here. I should be keeping heads down. Drop a Bren. Good. These guys now have their heads down. More is away. Looks like that looks like a stug firing in anger. That could be a good shot though. These guys are not injured, thankfully, but they are shaken. Don't run too far. Okay. Or how much cover that wall's given them, but this should hopefully be causing them some damage. Why do you he's about to eat ah uh, stug shot? Okay. It's gone alright, these guys got a bit rattled, but without taking uh, injury, which was good. And let's just go back and make sure there's no flashes over here. Infected. Why are you not? Oh, I'll go back and start. Yeah, you got in. Fine. These guys are still stuck in the bush. I think that's going to be them for the mission, unfortunately. Okay. So if I. Uh... That's where I'm.
the unhide. So we all can see. I want you to shoot that. Happy moment of glory, lads. You can definitely. What's the range actually before a? Hundred and thirteen. Well, okay, that's that's not. That is not nothing for a, a frontal shot. I don't want to risk them like that. Maybe I don't want to try and sneak around the side. I was supposed to risk one team to ball around the side. Unhide these guys. Oh, they are in. Oh. Not suppressed. Problem is, I just think they just can't see. Try that. They will at least get a shot off. You guys did good. Um, you might as well fire off the rest of your rounds. Don't have any eyes on here, even from these guys, can't see much. Find a little bit of suppressive fire. This chap's legging over here, so that's good. So, um, go poke his head out and see what he sees. We are running slightly shy in time. That's okay, we did say we we're going to get a little bit extra. And again, I don't want to rush unnecessarily. Um, ah, perfect, you guys picked up a friend. That is useful. <clears throat> I also want you over in this direction. See if we can get a shot off. Ouch. I have to give up this frontal approach. My idea of popping up and uh, getting one away is not working. How, you, I mean, you've just turned up. How are you pinned? Interesting. It's old chap running up the road. And these guys have reared their heads again. We destroyed the wall. Not much more than that. Looks like we might have got a shot off there. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. It might just be machine gun fire. Okay, that got to a very exciting end. Let's first see what this guy was all about. Thankfully, we do have so we do, we have left some people over here. Where is he? Here he is. We have a lone infantryman. Right, some fire from that house, and we should still have. Yeah, we've got another team in here. If he does pop up the end of this road, he's going to get hit again. Meanwhile, let's go back. It's a bit slower. See if we got a PL away or if it's just uh, rifle fire. So these guys unsuppressed themselves. We should at least have a shot on now that wall's gone. And indeed, the heavy machine gunner goes down. Okay, I think it might just be um machine gun fire versus this. Yeah, indeed it is. Indeed it is. He took an injury.
he should hopefully unpin himself. I might uh, pull these guys off if these if this chap's not successful. Although why is he using? Why does he not have his piet in hand? Not to know. I don't think he's fired anything. No. Just for some reason deciding, nah, I don't want to use that. Okay. Guy's on his way, good. I mean, is that no sign sight? Is that because you're pinned? I'd really love just to get at least one shot away, you know? See if it was worthwhile. Okay. Um, yeah, these guys are going to be covering that. He pops his head up again. Here. Not. Ah. However, you chaps should probably clear out. Um, come up into here. You again provide some more firepower. Don't want you. He hides along here, he could easily take us out before you respond. We need to acquire some ammo. All good. Oh. Get back over here, back in the fight. Okay, well this isn't this wasn't the um the stug killing adventure that I was hoping for, to be perfectly honest. But we are sitting at over half an hour now, so I am unfortunately going to have to call the video to a close there. Um, so my little kind of pop up tactics, not not as successful as I hoped. Although on the, on the plus side, I'm you know not taking too much in terms of casualties, just one one injury thus far. Um, it's probably a bit of a long shot, but I'm I'm going to stick in with these guys. I have a little bit of faith in might be able to get a shot away, especially now the HMG trooper here is, is dead, and then hopefully he can knock out the next one. Um, meanwhile, it's going to be a case of pulling this team back to support a move around the flanks and doing a bit of a sneak attack if we can. But that's probably going to, have to be a little bit late, so I'll need to spend a little bit of time just making sure there's nothing nasty waiting for us here and once we've kind of cleared out the back of this area we can worry about taking out this AMG good okay but thanks very much for watching uh, so I will be streaming this on Wednesday evening so please if you're interested come along twitch.tv for slash record 87 Failing that, that stream will be chopped up, thrown on YouTube as per usual, uh, so you can see my usual antics there um, and, uh, and pray for the lives of my uh, fallen pixel troops. Alright, see you there.